Hey folks, welcome back again. Appreciate you tuning into my channel. So we're back here again in Lehigh Acres and as you may have seen, we're looking at some bees that are flying into a speaker box uh, that's uh, exposed here outside. So I'm here today right now just to do a quick assessment. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can kind of spin the box around. I don't know if I can kind of take this thing apart at all, uh, but I'm gonna put a box in front of them that's baited with honeycomb and um, I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and again try to blow smoke and get them out. But right now it's, a, it's the time I really have to be heading to work. I'm not doing beekeeping full time as a removal service just yet. Hopefully maybe that'll be down the road for me in the future, but for right now it's a hobby. I appreciate your time. So uh, enough of me rambling, check it out. Again, homeowners said they were just here not that long ago, so they can't be that new. But again, I don't know how to get this thing opened. So right now I'm wearing a blue shirt and short sleeves and I didn't get sting, so that's a good sign. So let me go ahead and grab my box and get that set up. Okay, so very gentle so far. I do have a nucleus box here. It's a medium size. Uh, inside we have some... Uh, some frames that were previously spun out with honey, so there's wax drawn out, uh, there's honey remnants in there, uh, there's empty frames. Um, I can't assume this colony is going to be that big, but now the challenge is to see, can I spin this speaker box around? Is there a way to, to kind of disassemble it? How am I going to get the bees out? Um, I can use smoke, but ideally I need another, I need another access hole in the back, so hopefully there's some... Uh, some recess holes for, for cords and whatnot. So let me take a closer look. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna leave the box here in front of this, uh, this speaker set up here. I don't really know how I'm gonna open this speaker box up. Like I said, it doesn't come easily apart. Did see there is. So my thought is I'm gonna try to take this piece off maybe and then look in there. Uh, option two might even be just to relocate these uh, bees to my bee yard and do the removal there. So this was just an assessment just to see what we're dealing with. Uh, so for now, this is what I'll do and uh, Stay tuned, folks. I'll be back. And welcome back, folks. So right now it's Wednesday morning. I believe it's like 7.30, uh, maybe quarter to 8 a.m. And I'm in the back of my yard, and I went ahead and I relocated that speaker box. And uh, here is my little setup here. So for now, I put the speaker box kind of out of my back walk area here just to make it easier to get room around uh, you'll see i have a a nuke box position towards the entrance i haven't unstuffed their entrance just yet but i try to position the box at the same height that they're going to fly in and out or come out at and if you look closely i got this box as close to the entrance as possible so now all i'm going to do is i'm going to peel back this little piece of plastic and I'm gonna put my veil on. Uh, I do have some honey that I drizzled on the frames. Again, this is a medium. There's two foundationless frames and three frames that have comb that had honey spin out. So I drizzled honey on those frames. They're in here. So let me just very slowly peel away this plastic piece. I just let them sit here for a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to get a little bit of uh, lemongrass oil on a cotton ball and I'm just gonna dab it on the corner. That's about as much as I'm gonna monkey with them today. I gotta go to work again. And again, the reason why I have the box positioned the way I do is so the bees get accustomed 
to flying in front of that box, coming in and out, seeing the boxes there. Uh, I dabbed a little honey there, but uh, it's still morning. It's not, uh, you know, 80 yet. It was 68 degrees this morning. Absolutely gorgeous here for southwest Florida. Thank God we get a break from the heat. I removed that plastic that I had in the entrance, and I just replaced it with a little square piece of wood, and I kind of stuffed some old wax and some uh, piece of plastic from a ripped up glove. I filled up the top gap. So again, this is almost like the same concept as a entrance reducer, uh, giving these bees a smaller entrance. You see, they're already gathering at the entryway. And then I made sure to put the nucleus box right up next close to them. So if they're flying in or out, they're going by this box. And then now we just wait. It's important uh, to take your time, at least it is for me. Uh, I just moved these bees, I relocated them. They were in the back of my truck. They were strapped in, uh, but again, the vibrations, the bumps, etc. I don't want to move too quick, too fast, or else that'll agitate the bees too much and uh, they'll swarm away. So I'm gonna leave them like this. Like I said, I'll just leave it here for the day. And then tomorrow morning, I'll go ahead and I'll start dissecting the, the box to see if I can't open it up. And I will be taking you along, so keep on hanging in there. Appreciate you watching these videos. Don't go anywhere. Many hours later. Okay, folks, so welcome back. Here's what we're dealing with here. The bees seem to have moved out of the speaker box all on their own, but they're clustered up between the bottom board, of course. So my plan of approach is I have an, a deep size 5 frame nuke, empty frames. I'm going to move the top box off of that and very gently try to pick up that bottom board. And I have the Rubbermaid tote. So I'm going to do the old shake approach, uh, hopefully just shake them here quickly. Find the queen, get her in that queen clip right there. Well, no wonder why they didn't move in. Look how many bees are in here. I think they got full. <laughs> I guess I should have used the 10 frame, but sometimes you just don't know what you're dealing with. So I'm gonna leave them in that box and I'm gonna try to get this nucleus box. Here's a little cluster, or I should say half of a big cluster. <laughs> that look. Now I'll try to position it in front of the box a bit so I can watch the bees march and find the queen. Okay, the march has started, folks. Kind of see how the bees are crawling across the, the wood here. Yep, look at them run. They're running all on their own. There you go folks. Not the most exciting activity I'm sure, but uh, for a beekeeper, I like it when the bees make it easy. I didn't have to take the speaker box apart at all, didn't have to light up my smoker. Uh, 
all I did really is just repositioned them and let them move in. So no wonder why they didn't fill up that medium box because it was stuff full. So now that deep on the bottom, medium on the top, that will give them all kinds of room to hang out in. And this must be a really young swarm because they're wasting no time drawing comb. Alright folks, so I've been working on disassembling this uh, speaker here. It's got a series of uh, screws. Uh, they had some strapping here. So basically I took the strapping off, took the speaker out, and uh, there was a big old piece of honeycomb here. It's kind of sitting on that shelf. You see how that shelving is kind of where the wire is running across? And that's where the bees kind of attach their comb. And again, this is the orientation that speaker was initially standing, so you can kind of kind of see underneath there. So we'll keep working on it. All right, so I got some more small pieces of comb out here of the speakers so fairly sure I got it all out of there got it off the wires as best I could there's a little bit of honey left on that piece so I'll try to wipe that off and then uh, we'll go give the speakers and the box back to the owner and this removal is all done <laughs>